Malik Monk signs with the Sacramento Kings on a two-year $19 million deal, which will pay him about $10 million a year. Why would you sign with the Sacramento Kings, dude? I think someone else would have given him that money, but the Sacramento Kings really, they already have kind of a lot of guards. Uh, they've been known to have a lot of guards and a lot of centers. I would not want to sign with the Sacramento Kings. But it also, it feels like a Malik Monk move. I don't know why, it just feels like he belongs on the Sacramento Kings almost. I just don't like the signing for his, for him. Yes, he got some good money, and the Lakers couldn't have given him that. All they could give him was the mid-level exception, was which was 6.6, .6, or another veteran minimum, and then they could have paid him the next year. But it's, it's the Sacramento Kings, dude. Really? You're probably not going to play as much there as you would have if you would have stayed at the Lakers on that 6.6. .6. And, well, who knows if the Lakers offered him the 6.6, .6, first of all. But also... He's not going to be starting. I don't think there's any way he starts with them having Davian Mitchell and De'Aaron Fox. Him and De'Aaron Fox were college teammates. So that's a cool little reunion there. I like that. But in general, I just, ugh, I'm not a fan of the Sacramento Kings at all. I think that it's just a way to, it's a way to waste your career away, to say it in the nicest way possible, which isn't even that nice. Now, that's my thoughts on this. I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. I love the reunion of De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. But other than that, just leave a like, subscribe. We'll be back with more. Peace.